Hello guys. Today we're making a personal assistant for you. Still getting used to the camera and stuff. I have a new camera but it blurs a bit on motion I think. It does have a higher resolution. Not that you can see it in this small window. Who cares? Let's make a personal assistant for you. How do we do it? We start Java X first. And we get the usual program window and the nice smiling assistant. You have lots of programs here. You can search for many, many things. And everybody can add programs to this here. There are Java programs, Java X programs, Java. Uh, let's stick to English. Partially, they're very short, some are more complex. You can write uh, nice stuff here. Some Polish music. Just as an example, this is the whole program. It plays an MP3 file on and on and on. It even downloads the file first here. This is a Java X ID, a tiny brain ID. So the music gets downloaded once and then it plays in a loop. I would show you the music. You can try it yourself. There's a music player. There's much stuff, but you have to find find the IDs. You have to search for it, and there's multiple things that match. So what we want is a complete uh, command line just for you, where your commands are executed when you want it. <laughs> See how I practice Uncle Sam here, because I'm better than Uncle Sam. I made a program for you, it's called short commands. This is the last time you have to search for something, you have to search for this, short commands, and start it. And it has a database, because we make databases now, because it's so easy in Java X. This is just a prelimin prelimin preliminary window. It will go away in a second. And now everything fails. This is great, showing stuff and it fails. This is fantastic. Oh, okay, actually it's here. This database does not like to be started twice. So I have it running somewhere, yes, here. I close it again, okay. It was not actually a bug, it's just the presentation wasn't perfect, I guess. We could uh, switch to the other window or something. Do something reasonable. Hey, please run now. What is this? This is really embarrassing. Let's check here. Running programs. What do we have? No, it's not running. Come on. Please. Now I want the program, please. Oh, I just closed. Yeah, it takes a little while sometimes for one program to notice that the other was ended. It's just like 30 seconds. Okay, here is the database. It's empty, and you can put your own commands here. This is the function. I want to start the terminal. Where is it? It's called JC term. I just ported this to Java X. Although porting is a little generous, and you know, I in imported this to Java X. The actual work of programming, this is a little program I wrote. The actual work of programming was done by somebody else. So we have this command in here. Terminal program ID. And we can just run the command here. Terminal. Even this works. It says yo and there it is. I've run this before so it knows where I want to log in. I need to type in a password. Authenticity is alright. I will not tell you the password because I'm not insane. And this is my server. It's still called Pussy Right Germany, which was an earlier handle we had. We used to use like to like, love to love. JC term, very nice. It works on Windows too. I could show you VirtualBox and Java X in it and this program in it. Perfect. It's not as colorful as my other terminal. I noticed that. There's more colors here. But otherwise, it's perfect. Great Java software. Try some more, maybe. I don't know. Polish music. It's just music. If I want to have some music, I use my famous music player, which I have to search for one of all. All these IDs start with one million because it's a great number. It's as much money as I want to make in a year, I mean, in a day. Something like that. Music. 
And I want to have one million fans, of course. Uh, users, friends, stuff like that. Yo, this is the music player. So if you use this from now on, you can make your own commands here. We can make more complex stuff too later. But you know, add to this, and suddenly this thing here becomes a very powerful command line. It looks so small, it's right here. But it does a lot already. And well, my question is, of course, as always, what's the question? The question is, how long is the program? What do you think? A program of this complexity has a data. No, this one. It has a database. It has a graphical interface. It lo looks for commands, matches them here with stuff like not caring about exclamation marks. How long is this program? Oh, in your language. In my language, it's uh, 29 lines. 29. Here's the database. Here's the edit interface. Here is the, uh, the text field and the output of it. And here's the logic. This calls this, and this iterates the commands. And if it matches, boom, execute the program and say, yo, this is the whole program. And it really, really works well. Tell me any, people sometimes say programming languages don't matter, but then why are they invented? And they do matter. Just like you can ex express stuff differently in French than in English. I think English is better personally. It has more flow to it, more melody. The same way one programming language is different from another. Assembler is not used uh, in any place anymore. I mean, not used in many places anymore, I would say. Of course, it's still used, but most people don't bother with Assembler. Oh, I'm studying on toes here, I can feel this already. Yes, Assembler is great, I love Assembler. Hello, Z80 programmers, Assembler is really good. I'm a 6502 master. Yet, for databases, I prefer this. Even on a C64, we made databases in BASIC. It's unbelievable what we did it with floppy disks. I guess it was fairly slow, but we used it. People used this effectively, professionally, for lots of stuff managing their money, and their customers. Terminal. Yay. So you can make your own assistant with your own local database and write your own programs and stuff like that. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear more. Let's make personal assistance for everybody. Goodbye.